Hello, Blake Root is here with F64 Academy and F64 Elite, and today I'm going to target two blend modes specifically, the color blend mode and the luminosity blend mode. And the reason why I'm targeting these two is that they are polar opposites of each other. Like if any blend modes could be absolute opposites, these are the two. But they're both used for very specific things in Photoshop that can be extremely helpful for you and your workflow. So I was recently asked a question about blend modes and the specific question was, how do you know when to use color and when to use luminosity? And the funny thing about that is that they're actually polar opposites. I mean, complete polar opposites, the color blend mode and the luminosity blend mode, but they're very powerful in separating the color or the luminance value from a specific edit that you're trying to do. So, I'm gonna to try to explain this in the best way I possibly can because if you go to the Adobe blogs, they actually give you a good write-up of what all the blend modes are, but they can be kind of confusing. So let's take a look at this. The color blend mode creates a result color with the luminance of the base color and the hue and saturation of the blend color. Luminosity creates a result color with the hue and saturation of the base color, but the luminance of the blend color. And you're like, what? <laughs> If you're anything like me, you know, reading these Adobe blogs, they can really be helpful for you, but we have to do some things in Photoshop in order to figure that out. So here's the image that we're going to be doing the example on. We're going to call this the base layer, okay? Because the, the whole nomenclature of all the stuff that we just talked about on there is very helpful when we understand that this is the base layer and anything that's above it will be the blend layer. Okay, so I'm gonna call this base and I'm gonna do something here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna add a, a curves adjustment layer to this. And when I add this curves adjustment layer to this, I'm gonna do some really kind of funky things to this because I want you to see something. When this is set to normal, here's our other blend modes, color and luminosity are down here. When this is set to normal, it's basically saying, okay, curves adjustment layer, everything that you do to this image is going to be recorded on it when it comes to the color that you're gonna modify and the luminance values that you're gonna modify. So if I were to just do our, our typical S curve and just boom, just do that just like that. What you'll notice is that as I do that S curve, not only does the contrast get a little bit thicker in the image, but our colors kind of change a little bit too. And we can see that when we look right down here, I'm gonna go ahead and turn that layer off and turn that layer on. Notice how the oranges and the purples are a little bit more bright. And you might be thinking to yourself, well, I, I love what it's done with the color there, but I'm not quite a fan of how dark it's making all these buildings. So if you change this to the color blend mode, look what happens. We get all the beauty of the color because as it says, the base layer's luminance values will stay the same and the blend color, or at this point, the blend layer being a curves one adjustment layer, its color will apply to the image, but not any of the luminance value that we changed. On the flip side of that, let's change that back to normal. If we say, okay, I love how dark and dingy this is getting and it's kind of got that HDR-ish kind of scary kind of feel to it, but I'm not a big fan of the color that's coming through because I want it to be more eerie. Well, if we change this to luminosity, you'll notice that no longer are the colors applying themselves as we do this, only the tones are being affected now. So we've essentially, with our blend modes, separated colors and tones from that blending curves adjustment layer. Let's take this a little bit further. This is with the RGB channels selected, with your red, green, and blue channels selected, which is essentially what they call your luminance channel, okay? Let's go into the greens, and let's just bump this up a little bit, make it a little bit more green, and then let's go into blue and just bring this down and make it a little, well, we'll make it a little bit more blue like that, okay? Now, if I change this to color, watch what happens. It applies the color information, that hue and saturation information to the base layer. But if I change this to luminosity, no color is affected at all. Even though this curves adjustment layer is applying a lot of color to the image, it's not affecting the color of the image because it's basically saying, okay, curves adjustment layer, when I have you set to luminosity, I only want the tonal values that you're supplying to me applied to my base image. If we set it to color, it's saying, okay, curves adjustment layer, I don't want you to affect any of the tone in the image. I just want you to affect the color in my base image. And that's the big major difference between that color and that luminosity blend mode. They are actually polar opposites of each other, but can be used to separate the data in any of our base layers. 
So now let's take a look at another example. Let's take a look at what happens when we do this with a gradient map. Now a gradient map is a great tool to use to give your image a nice wash of color. Typically it's best used with the color blend mode, but when we do this, I'll show you what's happening with our color blend mode and our luminance blend mode. And it might make even more sense now, even be looking beyond the curves adjustment layer. So we're going to go ahead and add a gradient map. And what a gradient map does is it actually maps out the tones in your image. We're basically telling this gradient map to make all of our black areas in our image this color blue. Okay. And now we're going to tell it to make all of the white areas in our image. Let's make it a wild like this color red and we'll press OK. Now, this is probably not the kind of gradient map that I would ever add to any of my images, but it lets us see what happens when this is set to normal. It's basically saying anything white in this image, we need it to be this color red transitioning into the darkest areas of our image being this color blue. And that's what the normal blend mode set. But when we change that blend mode to color, watch what happens. We're telling our blend layer, which is this gradient map to put the color onto our base layer, but allow the luminance value of our base layer to show through. Watch what happens when we change this to luminosity. It's going to look bad again, but it doesn't actually show color information. You're thinking, well, why is that? Well, that's because what we're doing is we're applying the tonal values of that color red, the tonal values of that color blue, but we're allowing the hue and saturation of what's underneath to show through. If we were to go in here and we were to change this color red to a lighter color, you'd start to see how things are a little bit different. It's not actually changing the color of things though. It's taking what tonal value this color pink would be. So because the tonal value of this color pink is actually more a light, very light gray, almost white, it doesn't really show much of a difference. But when we change it to this color or this value of red, it's actually a much darker representation. But the main thing you have to ask yourself here is what am I applying to what? So because I really want these colors to apply themselves to the image, my best bet is not to change this to luminosity because I don't really like the luminance values that are being applied with that color red and that color blue to the hue and saturation of the base image. I'm much better off with something like the color blend mode because I'm, I'm applying color to my base and we aren't just stuck there. Okay. You can drop the opacity on this down to, I don't know, like, you know, the 20, 20%. So it's not a huge increase on, on color on that image. Okay. But it does make a difference. So to wrap this all up, typically I will apply my gradient maps with the color blend mode because I like the colors that they put onto my image, but I will come in and I will use a curves adjustment layer and I will modify the tones of my image specifically only using luminosity so that the colors don't change. Unless I'm using a curves adjustment layer for some type of color type effect, I'm typically using those curves adjustment layers with luminosity and I'm using my gradient maps with color because when I modify that tone curve, it allows me to say, okay, I want this to be a tone curve, not a color curve. So I want you to think about that because this tone curve can specifically be for tone. When you say, I only want you to adjust the luminance values by making this the luminosity blend mode. If you're in Adobe camera raw or something like Lightroom and you modify that tone curve, guess what? It's modifying the tone and the color of the image, and it cannot be separated with your color or your luminosity blend mode. So I know blend modes can actually be really tricky to get the handle of, but if you consult with the helpx adobe.com blog, they do a really good job of breaking down those blend modes. I actually refer to it very often when I'm trying to look at the difference between blend modes and what's happening to my images. And I highly suggest that you do the same thing. The main takeaways here though, is to think about the fact that color and luminosity are actually polar opposites of each other. They are completely different blend modes because the color blend mode allows you to take the color from the blend layer, apply it to the base layer, but let the base layers luminance values show through. The opposite is true for the luminosity blend mode. The luminosity blend mode allows you to apply the tones of the blend layer, but keep the hue and saturation the same of the base layer to show through. 
So they're kind of polar opposites. And some of them work better than others with the different types of adjustment layers that you can use. As I mentioned here, I love using a tone curve with luminosity and I love using gradient maps with the color blend mode. So again, my name is Blake Rudis with F64 Academy. If you like this, please comment on it, share it and tell a friend because these blend modes can be kind of tricky to understand. But once you get them, that's the level of mastery that you can get to in Photoshop. It's absolutely incredible. Thanks again and have a great day.